Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's look at the book of Isaiah chapter 55 lines 8 and 9. The translation that I'm reading says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Although our minds and hearts are connected to God, we will never truly know, understand, and feel what he does. We could, however, find more peace and tranquility in our lives if we stopped acting like two-legged donkeys with blinders on, stepping, kicking, and falling on our blessings. We could stop, breathe, and think before speaking to ensure that only our best thoughts are being conveyed. We could think before keeping harmful secrets, reminding ourselves that we don't like secrets kept from us. We could think of how devastated we would be if the person we love betrayed us. Maybe that would be motivation enough to not betray them. We could stop and think before negatively calling someone out of their name, thinking of how it would make us feel if someone did it to us. We could remember that how we treat others directly reflects how we treat our relationship with God. Our disregard, disrespect, lack of follow through, inconsistencies, and sometimey ways all mirror how we engage with our Heavenly Father. We're obsessed with materialism and our perceived lack while he's focused on spiritual warfare and saving our souls. He sent his son to show us the way a book was compiled to serve as a handbook and look at how we're living more than 2,000 years later. Mm. What if we really started walking like Jesus? How would our lives be? How would the world be? Let's pray on it. Father, I thank you for my blessings and for those physical senses that allow me to take in your land beyond comprehension and measurement as you see fit. Thank you for my brain, heart, and other organs. Thank you for designing me perfectly to your specifications. Thank you for my mind, spirit, and soul and for allowing me to tap into you and connect with you. I know that I have failed to purge myself from sinful ways and free my mind so that I can be better connected to yours. I know there are times when I can be more loving, giving, considerate, tolerable, patient, and less cynical and flippant. I know better, Father. I want to do better and be better. Help me, Lord. Only you can do what needs to be done. I trust you. Amen. And with that, family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you're a blessing to others. I love you all. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.